Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to update Microsoft Teams both on the desktop and on the uh, iOS um, mobile devices. Um, this is a super quick and easy tutorial to follow so if you do find it useful you know what to do. Um, and with all that said, let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay, so the first thing just to point out is uh, this method will work both on uh, Windows and on Mac. Uh, so it doesn't really matter which kind of um, operating system you're using. Um, the principles are the same. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually just head over to our avatar in the top right hand corner here. From here, we want to scroll down to a section that says check for updates. Um, and if we give that a quick click, what that's going to do is it's going to show us this grey bar at the top of the screen here where it says we will check and install any updates whilst you continue to work. So what we can do is basically continue using Microsoft Teams without any issues. Um, and the actual application in the background is checking and um, updating anything if needed. Now you'll end up with a couple of different pop-up messages or gray bars just at the top of the screen um, informing us of what uh, Microsoft Teams is doing um, in the background or has done in the background. So um, not every update will require the application to restart. Some, up um, some updates to the application will require that system um, to restart itself. Um, and those are the major updates that happen to the kind of structure of Teams. The minor updates um, won't require a complete restart of Microsoft Teams. So that's why you're able to kind of use this and continue working with Teams whilst the updates are happening in the background. Now, we've just got this gray box up here, which says actually you're on the latest version uh, of updates. You've got the latest updates. Enjoy. So you can see straight away that I do not need now to actually have um, a restart of the application and anything that was missing update wise has now been installed on this version of Microsoft Teams. So the next thing to do is actually just check the iPhone here um, and obviously the same processes that apply to this iPhone will also apply to um, the, what do you call it, the, the um, iPad as well. So um, you don't have to worry, you know, it's kind of like one process for everything. Um, the main difference is between your mobile devices and your um, desktop devices uh, is all about how you go about actually installing them. So with the uh, iPhone here, um, what we're going to do is go to our app store and click on search, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to search for the Microsoft Teams app and find out if it actually requires an update. So what we're going to do is just go and type in Microsoft Teams. If I can spell Microsoft, that is Microsoft Teams, um, just there. And we can see if we scroll down to this section here that Microsoft Teams, it says open next to it. And what that means is there is no updates for iOS um, that are available for this application. So I've already got the latest version on my phone. Now, if however, you did not have the latest version, instead of saying open here, it would say update. Okay, and you would actually click on the update button and it will update the application to the latest version that is available on Apple. Now, the other way you can go about doing this is actually clicking your um, icon in the top right hand corner here. And what we're going to do is actually just scroll down to the update section. Now I have 13 applications here waiting for updates um, and I can see here and I can literally just go through these um, and update them one at a time um, or all together in one go. So if Microsoft Teams did require an update, um, you've got the two options there. You've got the, the ability to search for uh, Microsoft Teams in the App Store and click in the update button or go into your avatar and just searching all of your updates and just clicking update all now and, and that will update your entire um, I guess uh, library of apps all in one go um, if anything was needing an update that is um, and guys it is as easy as that to actually go about updating your Microsoft Teams desktop applications and um, mobile applications hopefully you guys found this useful if you did you know what to do and I will catch you guys in the next video